it down, y'all. Hey, you know y'all business, man. Y'all been like TJ and Chris, the really killing y'all me. Y'all see me now, but as far as Crystal, she been gone for a minute. Yep. Dealing with the baby, y'all. I'm sorry. We're getting back into it, though. Well, we got it's to hard. Once you get out of it, it's hard to get back in. You know what I mean? Like, it takes a while to, because then you're constantly like, oh, I'm too tired. Or, you know, keep making excuses, but you gotta, you gotta consistency is key, y'all. Yeah, it is. It is easy to get, to, to get out of it and then hard to get back into it. Because you gotta dedicate time to the side. Stick to it. But y'all, we done that, man. And we actually today we got a mukbang, so we actually gonna be eating from a restaurant. It's our first time trying this restaurant. Uh, right down the street. So. Right down the street from our new location. Yeah. Now on the community, y'all see we said, guess where we're moving to? I only see one right answer. Oh, for real? Yes. And we both want to say where we're moving to. In just a second, all right? But we do want to say shout out to, uh, where does it say? Phillies. Shout out to Phillies. Famous cheese steaks, man, because that's what we All right, but today, y'all, we got to tell them what we're doing. Three, two, one. Clearwater! Okay, she so said it. I was going to say Florida, but you were talking about Clearwater? Yes, we moved to Clearwater, Florida, guys. We are in Florida. And when, when Duke said the uh, uh, book state, what did he say? The book state? Yeah, he said uh, uh, something about the book. And that's why I thought it was right, because I guess it's But today, guys, we, hold on! We moved to Florida, guys, man. It's, it is living, man. We've been here, how long we've been here, baby? Man, uh, we got to no. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four days. We've been here four days, guys. We got to tell y'all the drive down here was hectic, man. Everything was hell leading up. I mean, the past month has just been hectic. We knew, you know, it's been bad. We had just got the lease and shit. Just uh, getting, the, getting our help. We've been in the same spot for 12 years. There's a lot of stuff we had to leave behind, and it was hard to leave behind, and we only got a 16-foot van to move all of our stuff. Five, six, seven people. Seven people worth the shit, you know what I mean? And it looked big. It was like, oh, yeah, we can fit everything we need in here. But when we started packing, it was like, shit. So either we were going to get another van, or we were just going to be like, you know, this one 10-hour drive, there ain't no coming back. Whatever we leave. And it took us actually longer than that. You know, it took us about 13 hours. 13, 13. Because we had a seven month old. All our kids. You know, he's driving a truck. It, it, it felt like everything was just crazy. Like, we found out our insurance. We ain't had insurance for a minute. We're like, what the hell? So we had to hurry up and get our insurance back. And we do want to say salute to our insurance company, man. Because we thought. We thought we were about to pay top dollar man, to get our insurance to reinstate it. Yeah, but we didn't know the shit was, was out. Man, they try to say your shit is out. We, we didn't know. You know what I mean? All but, my bills are on auto pay, and somehow our insurance just dropped us. I don't know what for. It don't say what for. Had no idea. No, well, we got the insurance. Know, so we got to go. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, uh, we on. Yep. Okay. So you want to show them the wings? All right. So, uh, this is what we Today, salute the Phillies, like we said earlier. I got me some lemon pepper wings, y'all. Lemon pepper. You know what I mean? It's fire to try out. You know what I mean? I'm going to be grilling out here soon, so. You know what I mean? We just want to grub, grub, try out the restaurant. You know what I mean? Wings. Can y'all see that? You got the okra? Got the okra on deck. I was in the show. Are you the show? Are you
nothing would stay on market for anything. And if, and if y'all from Knoxville, y'all know this. Y'all already oh know about God. this. I, I see plenty of Facebook posts. Can't find that. Oh my no, God, it's horrible. We tried. We looked everywhere in Knoxville. And then, and then the prices started skyrocketing, and you know our landlord never raised our rent. You know what I mean? Like we gotta give her that credit. She never raised our rent she never when she could have went down double. You know where everybody she else. Us, she, like, yeah. she didn't threaten us. I mean, she, like, she didn't she threaten brought us. It. Not threaten us. She just said that you know she's either gonna have to sell the house when we you know hitting off that you know whenever y'all move like That's either I'm gonna sell the house. I guess, I guess you can take it that You're way. bringing that up. So Fire anyways, that's when we started really like, all right, we gonna find something. And then, Florida, like, you know, that's where we always wanted to be. And we started looking at houses for rent down here, and it's like... Hold on, hold on, hold on. you're going too fast, hold on. Where am I going okay, to okay. Well, we tried to look for a house in Knoxville. Yeah. We didn't get it. Okay, I said all that. We, we, now, we knew a couple people got lucky. And found some houses, and then I, I was like, "Man, no, we gotta find one person we was gotta... on Section Eight. That's why it was so like, yeah, they found a nice house, a nice house close to where we were. Hell yeah, hell yeah, they but found I was a like, nice man, house. man, we gotta, man, but this they person had, got, we gotta had be able to find help one. You with shit like that. We gotta be able to find one. And uh, then Crystal was like, "We better off move. We gonna move, TJ. We better." I'm like, Crystal, let's look. She was like, no, you bet we better off moving to Florida. We gonna move. I was like, moving to Florida. And that ended up sparking something in you. Hold on, hold on, I'm getting to that. Okay. I'm like, moving to Florida, man. No, nah, man, it's Chris I always gotta be on this uh, extreme, uh, extreme shit. shit. It's, it's either either this it's, or nothing. It's either this or uh, oh, fuck it. We'll stay the, here for the rest of our lives. It's either this or hell to that. You know what I mean? Type shit, like far in between. So I was like. I started thinking, I was like, man, nah, man, we're going to find a place here. And I started looking, then I'm like, man, I can't find shit. Then I'm like, you know what? Let me look in Florida. Then I looked in Florida. Yeah, you know what I mean? It was a little pricey and stuff like that. But then as I started navigating and started navigating, I started finding little niches and shit. I started, oh, this is a good little, this is, we can afford this one. You know what I mean? It's literally the but, same thing you know, as it is in Florida. Next thing you know, that motherfucker gone. I mean, that motherfucker gone, gone so. flying. Then it's like, hey, we can find it. Then it's like, that motherfucker gone. So we was like, hey, we, we, we started looking around, looking around. And, and we and I spent months, y'all, months figuring this shit out. Figuring this shit out. Got the numbers and all this. And I went down there, man. I went down there. I went down to Florida. I spent a week down there by myself just to go down there and get a job. And find a place to stay. I came back with an apartment, y'all. After a week down there, I came back with a job and an apartment. Yep, and then where'd you find that apartment at? Alright, I found an apartment. It, hey, I liked it because it right across the street was some million dollar houses, man. Mitches and everything. Mitches. And then, you, 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 as soon as you go two streets over, you see the hood. You know what I mean? So... Well, you gotta go up a little bit, but it's still the hood. And we man. looked at where the school so, were zone. And Crystal found out that the school was right in the middle of the hood, so that was a no go. Yeah. So I'm like, man, ain't no way I went down there, spent a week, got a job, and a crib. They ready for us to, you know what I mean? They damn near ready. You know what I mean? Ain't no way. And it's right there. I mean, and it's a no go. I'm like, nah, I gotta find something else. I gotta find something else. Then I came across something. I, I was like, oh, man, I came across the house. I said, Crystal, look, hit these places up. She said, all right, found them out. I already done reached out yeah. to the realtor or whatever. And they say, you know, I'm like, good. Two days later or we whatever. the same house at the same, the same time. time. And, and then two days later, they gave you a call back or some shit. On, Still not even thinking that was going to hit. Nah, yeah, we ain't there. Like, so we gave them all our information. Because I'm like, how the hell are we going to get a... Because we was... I found one at the bottom of St. Petersburg, which is the best location we found so far. And then you also got to so keep far. in mind that a lot of shit be scams, too. So, you know, you, you find something, like, that's a good price and everything. Mm. It's like, is it too good to be true, though? Or is this a scam? Like, man, you got to be careful. They, yeah. they are ready to scam you hard. And then, you know, this is a place because you don't the, know. The apartment, I, when I went down there and, and applied for it and everything... I paid the deposit. Well, I thought I paid the deposit. You know what I mean? I thought I gave them like 300 and 
What was it? No, that was just the application fee. We were supposed to pay the deposit and all that after we got approved. Yeah. Hey, I thought it'd be like $350. You know what I mean? So that's supposed to come through. All that's yeah. supposed to come through. Then when we, we said sure. no to the apartment, when we ended up saying no to the apartment, we was like, well, we had a $350. Oh well. We also thought we then, was out of the security deposit. The security deposit. How much was that? Nine hundred. Nine hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You forgot the expiration I didn't date on the she, card. She forgot. You know what I mean? Okay. But anyways, that saved us not being out of nine hundred dollars. All right. So we thought we was at about five hundred, close to five hundred dollars on that. We was gonna take that five hundred dollar L yeah, to make sure our that. kids did not go to the to school in the middle of the hood. I'm like, they don't go to school in the hood in Knoxville. I'm not about to send them to Florida. And be in the hood. Nah, they ain't, we ain't rocking like that. We don't even know. I, I, I did my time in the hood, so they ain't got to. You know what I mean? Okay, everybody knows you've been in the hood now. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, but I'm just, uh, I'm just supporting. I mean, trying to show y'all. Y'all can do it too. But anyway, um, so where was I? Before you <laughs> fucking gave that dirt speech. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> say no to drugs. Yeah, we, we they are. But anyway, okay, so uh, we thought we was out of that five hundred dollars. But come to find out, as soon as we thought we was out of there, bro, we, I looked at my email, man, she was like, uh, just waiting on that expiration date. Wait, we need the last, we need an expiration date to your car to your process car. it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? To process the, uh, $900 and the, uh, the application deposit. I'm like, damn, baby, they still ain't even process that shit because they don't let me go and everything. That we was God. Was that was God. That's all she, I'm going to say. Yes. She sent that back to me like, yeah, we need you to do this and do the Write all your information down. You would have been mad as hell if we was in that apartment. Yo, yo we hey, we didn't man. respond to her none, man. We applied for this. That's saying, you know, we got approved. It took a minute though. She wasn't really hitting me back at first because I was like, uh, yeah, just trying to, you know. Cause we, I found out that I was the first person to look at it. But you know how that goes. If they find some, but our credit is good at the same time. But I was like, what if they find someone with better credit? Or what if somebody offers more money? Or I don't know. You, however that stuff be going. It, it just kept seeming like nothing was going to fall in. Or, I just got more. Like, it, it, it just felt like all odds were stacked against us getting out of that fucking house. Yeah, man. Like, like there was so many times we, we tried and we gave up. Well, not really try to get up, but we wanted to move out, but we never took the effort. Like, oh, and well, one time, we're going to be stuck here. Yeah, especially when we try to own, buy a house that down there. Our heart, that dude. Oh, man, we that, just gave up. That was that, devastating, yeah, especially, I mean, you know, you don't get to go. You, you usually don't go that far without it being for sure. So we were, right. like, already, like, oh, it's in the bag. We done got it. We're already this far in. We done did all this. Mm -hmm. Dude, that was devastating. Right down here in the mountains. That, that was we never fucking to devastating. Anyway. Oh my god. And that was the thing, cause we never took advantage of the mountain. We were just doing that to get closer to my job and closer to stuff to do for kids. So then she she said, "When do y'all want to move in?" Oh, and yeah. I was like, "Sometime in like the beginning of July." And then what? It was a week later, cause that that was the he's snotty too, guys. He's been he's been getting his allergies and stuff. Thing. I'm just doing what the mom is where I'm just squeezing his nose with my hand and y'all are like, ah! Yeah, it took it, it took uh took about a week for her to tell us that we got approved, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And, and we uh, was hitting her up too. We were like, hey. Yeah, I was on? trying not to be buggy, but you know, I'm at the shit, same time. Know, 48 hours to say right, but but see it was the weekend and everything else that we had to wait for. So. Yeah, yep. And, and so I guess that Tuesday, she ended up telling us, like, y'all are approved. When do y'all want to move in? Yeah, I was at work when she called me. I know where. Okay. So she called, I was like, hello? She was like, yeah, this is so-and-so, so-and-so. I was like, oh, And hey. I was talking to my aunt at the same time. I was like, what should I call and say? To I just need to know if we got it or not. TJ she bust said, through the door. He's like, baby, I just want to let you know you was approved. I was like, oh, shit. I was on the phone. I was like, hey, hold on it's for a second. Hold on for a second. Uh, uh, let me put you on hold for a second. Hey, hey, it's going down. At the same time, super, I'm, I'm sitting here. Super happy. Yeah. I told everybody where I was. Man, look, good guy pro, man. Happy. Hey, y'all ain't told everybody where. Man, I only work with like three people. Yeah. Anyway. Sent our deposit through the mail. Express. They yeah. got that shit the next day. Yeah, we, yeah. Uh, we, 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 we 
caught that shit. We were hung. We I had could, about three weeks after they told us that. We had about three weeks to get shit rolling. So we had to get a moving truck. Yo, and this place was better than any location. No, like it's right in ever. the middle of everything. Any any store, anything I could fucking want is less than 10 minutes away from this house. Yes. Everything. The beach is 10 minutes away from this right house. Right there. Right there, man. We oh can choose. We still, we still haven't went to the closest beach. Well, but. because it's it's got a public area where you can get out, but it don't have the pier and all the amenities like like Clearwater does. That's Clearwater and Pier 60 is my favorite spot. I just want to check out. That's my spot. I don't care. We're going to check out the St. Pete. Now, St. Pete Pier might be my new spot, too. Because that's that's newer. That's That's the newest one. It is farther. I ain't worried about the closest beach. I'm worried about where I like being. And it's only 15 minutes away to Clearwater. Yeah. We're about 15 minutes to Clearwater. Clearwater Beach, anyway. Yeah, Clearwater Beach is 15 minutes away. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Traffic ain't bad, none of that. Well, hell, we got, we got beach 10 minutes away. Too. And everybody's trying to down us. Like, why are you moving that far away from everybody you know? And what about your family? And uh, it's hot out there. And, and what, if, what if stuff goes wrong and you're all the way? We're going to take care of everything. Like, you know, right, we, we're not going to let nothing. We've been saving for a move. You know, we, we done did all the math. We know what we got to do. We got our kids and shit. Yeah. We gonna be good. We ain't never look at And that's another thing. Nobody thought, nobody nope. think we gonna be able to do it because we got all these kids. Look, we done, we came all the way 10 hours with all our shit packed in a van. And Let's my car. Like Let me tell you. Last year, I didn't work. Last year, we I sold won't work. TJ's car. Next thing you know, in fucking Florida. Uh-huh. That wasn't fair. I don't work. Sold TJ's well, I did car, work. I took I didn't our car. This the big car and the van, the movie van with all our shit in it, and, and drove 14 hours. 14 hours is and y'all can do it too. I'm with kidding. five kids, one being a, a seven month old, we did this shit, man. I'm gonna get in this. If we can do it, y'all can do it. Hey, be where you want to be. Don't be stuck okay. because you feel like you got. This is where you are from. This is where everybody. Sometimes you got to get away from everything you know. That's how we feel. We, we needed to get away, you know. Our our family structure ain't like, I guess, how some people's are where, you know, everybody, you know, s- sticks together and helps. Like, we don't get no help. It, it's not like that, you know. So it wasn't that hard yeah. of a, like, well, we're going to miss our family, but it's not like we depended on our family I think, for I think we're doing the best thing for our families to show We've that, always hey, depended on because each both other. of us, our family's not in the best situations. Yeah. So I think... Us doing this, showing our family, hey, let me know we're not we in the best be situations. Stuck. We ain't got to be stuck. You, no matter you know what, what situation you in, you, 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 you're the only person that can make it better is yourself. Right. You know what I mean? Like, don't don't think you stuck. Anybody. You stuck if you allow yourself to be stuck, if you choose to be stuck. If you go and listen to all the excuses you make to yourself mm-hmm. to be stuck, then yeah, because yeah, we could come up with a million excuses. We've been trying to move for years and always talked about moving to Florida. But just like, oh, it's too hard. Oh, we got too many kids. Oh, this and that. And then here this year came and, got, you know, we just had Jaden in November. It's like, well, we definitely can't do nothing now. Like, there's always going to be an excuse. We are always going to have kids. <laughs> so we can't let that be a crutch. Hey, okay, you win. Bang. So you fuck with those wings? The wings, lemon wings. pepper wings, man. Oh, man. So, you know, is that going to be a spot we're going to go to on a regular? Yes. Yes, lemon pepper wings, baby. I love that lemon pepper. I'm going to say that, that, that chicken pepper. Philly wasn't all that. Oh, shit. Sure. That chicken Philly wasn't all that. Now, you got the regular Philly. It might be better. And you got the cheese whiz on it. You know what I mean? That's that Philly type. That's that original Philly. Okay. Philly, Philly. So we told them why we moved to Florida. Better stuff for you guys. We're gonna be doing all types of activities. Yeah, we're gonna get back vlogs. into the vlogs. We, we want the vlogs. we wanna do more vlogs talking about moving like this, moving mm-hmm. to where you wanna be at and don't be stuck because yep. we know too many people that that get like that. And if y'all trying to move to Florida, I mean man, we comment, was like that. You know? Comment down below. Comment stuff y'all wanna talk about, man. 
we can we can help you with anything. How's the weather? All that. As it is, any little questions, we'll help you out with that. Now, and it's still you. look. We've been here four days. It still doesn't even feel like. Like a big vacation. It's, it's still, it still don't even feel real yet. I, I, yeah, it feels like we're in an Airbnb or something. We could be going to McDonald's in Florida. That still feel like a fucking. Vacation. It just still don't seem real at this point. Like, yeah, cause you don't see fucking palm trees. Like, like all just the scenery. I think it's gonna so. take about two months for it to really set in. You know what I mean? Yeah, you done you're getting messy as hell. Put this shirt right there. Anyway, back to it. All right, now we gotta talk about how do we, how do we like it? Love it. I mean, our house is in this neighborhood great that neighborhood. is awesome. Great neighborhood. All the streets are flat, which is great. Mm -hmm. You know, we our our neighborhood has an actual neighborhood name. You know what I mean? Like we got we got a neighborhood. We got palm trees. Palm trees. We got we got, we got fucking our palm house. trees in our yard. Yeah. Come on now. Come on now. I thought the screen room was pretty. We got a screen room. We, Garage, we ain't never go in our backyard at our old house. We didn't there wasn't even no entrance. Home. Like we didn't have no back porch or patio or deck or nothing in the backyard. I ain't never. Twelve years I might have went back there ten times. Yeah, the, the Philly. I gotta give them no. Alright. No. I'm gonna write the wing. Let's write the, all this at the end. Oh, yeah. The heat, I ain't gonna lie, the heat. It oh can be hot. God. No, when we, were first, when we first got there, oh, we gotta tell them about that, too. First, what up? When we first, right when we was like 40 minutes away, I called the, the landlord lady, the property oh, manager. Yeah, yeah, and I was know. like, hey, uh, we're almost there. I'll, I'll, uh, you know, I, I'm headed to your office now. And she was like, no, um, I'll meet you at the house. I got the key and everything at the house. So I told TJ, because, you know, I'm driving the car. He's driving the van. So I called him. I'm like, hey, you just go ahead to the house. Or that was what he already thought I was going to do, was go to the office and he go to the house. And I was like, hey, she's just going to meet us at the house. He hits me with some shit like, oh, that don't sound right, babe. That sounds like a scam or something. Yeah, hold on. My heart dropped, okay, because I got off the phone with him. And, and and I started panicking inside. I was the whole like, time you're supposed to meet I was him at like, the office. Please, I was like, please don't and then say when this, we, right? Right when we close, you gonna say you're gonna meet us at that house. Please. I'm like, now nah, I done heard these stories where people get scammed and the dude who scammed them had the key. I'm like, thinking, how you scam I'm thinking in my head, like I know we did not just drive fourteen hours away from everything we know with all of our shit in a van that we have to turn in tomorrow. With all of our kids. We would have been all right. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, we would have made it, but, but my heart just dropped. We, I'm like, oh, my right. God. We, we would have figured it out in one of them, uh, uh, what was they called, link stage, the uh, extended stage. Extended stage, yeah, we would have made it work. We would have had to just We had one of those on standby. No, just there back. was no going back. No. Whatever happened. If we got scammed and we, you know, we still, no, <laughs> we was not... Would have made that shit work. Yeah, would have made, made no going back. There is no going back. This uh -uh. is it. This is it. I'm over here so far. When we go back for a vacation, that's it. We this is it. We're staying Sorry. here. Yup. We're gonna stay here. You just gotta grind harder and make shit work. That's Don't it, man. And it's well worth the, the the grind. It's well worth whatever extra you gotta do to be make where it happen. You wanna be and do what you wanna do. Don't be no slave to anything. Fuck that. If you wanted to make, if Fuck you want to make it happen, but it's like, nah, it's gonna be more expensive than where I live. Oh, you want some more it's now? worth that extra and to, to have that peace of mind, to have things at your fingertips you can do. Dude, we passed up on the beach last night. We said no. We don't feel like. Oh, we've been the at the beach like. Yeah. Well, after the first day, because uh, mind we've you, been to the beach back to back. We didn't sleep for forty-eight hours, pretty much. Like uh, when we packed the van on the last, the last day when we finished the pack and everything, we ain't slept, and, and, and we just took off that night because we could have left early in the morning. But it's so much easier to travel that far of a distance with everybody else sleeping. You know what I mean? So we was like, fuck it. We got a couple of cups of coffee. And head it out. Get there to like 1, 1.32. 
yeah, it was something like that. All that Atlanta traffic. Oh God, it was just so hard. It, there was so much stuff at the house. It was. And, and when I, saw I was that ready truck to was give filled, up. That truck was big. I was ready to give up a couple times. Real. I was. I was like, this is too hard. There's just, man, I'm telling y'all, this is not for the faint-hearted. Like you, you gotta just suck it up. You know, yeah. suck it up and, and get the shit done. Yeah. Oh, when we had, I cried a bunch, you know, get your cries out, but don't let nothing stop you. Uh, when we Do had, that shit. When we had to um, pack. It's all working. When we had to pack, pack up. Forget it. God, bro, that was some of the oldest shit, dude. It took us. We've never packed a van before. We were watching videos on how to uh, how how to pack stuff, and oh man. Yeah, it was. I it thought was all our shit bro. was we gonna be broken. We had like shit. what six, five TVs. I was. I thought all our TV. Ouch! All our TVs were gonna be broken. Anything yeah. glass. But we put the t uh, um, the mattresses in. <laughs> Babe, help me out, please. <laughs> He's got this child has a death grip. Like when he grabs onto something, there is no no getting it out without crying. It's like the jaws of life. Got over here, my child. What you get the food, Jaden? He got the like that bag. He's like, ooh. Guys, we love it. I mean, no, let me tell you, all the hell that we endured, all the bullshit, it is so worth it. I would do it over a hundred times to be where we're at right now with the opportunities. Mm. They're hiring everywhere. There's no way. Uh, there's no way you can't make it. You know what I mean? When they try saying no room for people in Florida, bro, that's plenty of no, room. No, there's so bitch. much room. Plenty of room. No, no there's no. It. Everybody's looking for people to work. I mean, good jobs. I'm not talking about just some fast food shit. I'm talking about good, good jobs. jobs. But yeah, man, we fucking love. We, we love the bread. Mm -hmm. You know, jobs easy to get. I mean, for some people, I can't see. I can't see. They're out there, but like that. The heat is something you gotta get used to. Okay. But now listen. Bad credit and a bad background. A that's gonna slow you down. That you don't have, have to stop you. That doesn't have to stop you. Work that shit off, okay? Work your credit up. Yeah. And and get your background as good as you can. You know, like TJ local. was able to get some shit expunged. Yes, yeah, he's got a super clear background. Yes, y'all know I used to be a felon. You know what I'm saying? Not anymore. That now, I know so that's much. not always an option. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you got to figure it out. You got to work through your obstacles and figure that shit out. Do not let yourself be. Stuck. Don't let the, don't let the go. Don't give. Don't live the life the government gave you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Live the life you want to live. Not even the government. Your parents gave you. You know what I'm saying? Don't yeah, you don't gotta deeper, live the life your parents ahead. gave you. Yeah, yeah, but I, I'm talking about yeah, that is true. You go, yeah, because that's what people think. They think that <laughs> they have to stay. Well, this good one. You know, my parents. This is this is where it's at. No, that's that's just where you was born, or that's just where you ended up, where you had no choice of where you. You know what I mean? Like no, we got choices <laughs> now. Yeah, you're right. I love you. I got a million things going on in my head right now. But yeah, guys, you can do it too, man. Do this. Please, I, I hope that oh, yeah. people can see our situation. Yeah, really. And that. be like, man, they did it with all them kids. That's why we, we did it. it. That is exactly why we did it. Because we had all the kids. And I was like, I, I want to I see some people inspired by that. We was in a house still. Our block was just super depressing, man. A bunch of older people lived there. They really didn't conversate with each other. Uh, like, already, we conversated with uh, one, two, two neighbors so, so far. Uh, you, you haven't met the other one, but they're two neighbors. Oh, one of them is an Albanian. The I first dude when he came home. Uh, well, we met a, a, one of our neighbors is an Albanian. He came from, uh, I'm guessing, Albania. Uh, but Lived in Chicago. Lived in Chicago years. for four years and then moved down here in 96 and hasn't looked bad. Hasn't looked bad, man. I love it, man. Yo, they say it's dead. Even before we moved down here, somebody was like, somebody that lives down here, I'm like, yeah, uh, people think it's going to be the same as vacation spot. It's different moving somewhere and then vacation in that, in that same area. Bro, I mean, 
it's different, but yeah, cause you ain't, but cause you ain't doing all that expensive shit. But I mean, you are. Anyway, it makes sense, y'all. I know we only been here four days so far. It is a little awkward. I mean, you can't do the same thing you do on vacation when you live there, because I mean, you you're looking to blow three, four thousand in that week. No, but we ain't so about to blow no three, stuff. four thousand. There's so much free week. stuff to do That's here. So much, yeah. So we don't gotta shit. spend money. I mean, in yeah, you case we want to go to yeah, you buy Universal buy Studios as as all the time or Walt Disney World. You ain't you know in a mean? rush to blow. You ain't in a rush to There's blow. There's so you much can... free, fun stuff to do. And it's like, wow, what wow. You, what you doing that week, you could do in that whole fucking, you could be honest with you, set it out for three, four weeks if you want to. You know what I mean? Think 10 shows in a week. That's a month worth of shit. Because everybody's like, just all the negative shit you can hear. Is all we heard from everybody, our family and everybody like, oh, it's too hot down there, or the traffic's bad down there, or, you know, what are you going to do? It's hurricanes all the time. We getting the fuck up out of here when it happens. Yeah, we evacuate. Guys, don't worry about, don't evacuate. Look, we getting the fuck up out of here. You know what I'm saying? We ain't used to this shit, and we ain't trying to get used to it. Now, some people tell us, uh, um, you know, category two, then you want to dip. Look. When y'all start categorizing shit, I'm, I ain't, I'm dipped. Yeah, yeah. Category one, what's after one? Two? Oh, yeah, I'm out of here. Wait, putting that up? I'm gonna try it. Yeah, you wanna try it? Hey, yeah, we're gonna rank this. I did not like things, my right? chicken, though. I mean, I'll feel the things that I right? Oh, you already know, rank it. That's pretty trash, too. No, I like the. The wait, okay, well, that, I gotta give that a six. I gotta give the wings a ten. And I gotta give that okra. I still wanna know what the original Philly tastes like, but overall, that's okay. I'm giving Philly. That's better than the I chicken Philly. I give this place an 8.25. 8. What are you other wings? A 10. Wings, bang. You didn't get one? No. But we gotta try the uh, pizza too. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't try the pizza. That like that's our specialty. It's okay. Yeah, this. Oh, we gotta get on the Cuban food. Too. Oh, yeah, that's our specialty. Oh, we gotta get on the Cuban food too, because this is a Cuban area. I love some damn Cuban food. Cuban food. We're gonna get on that. And that's what I love about this place, the diversity. You know what I mean? Like, there is so much, so much culture down here. It ain't just fucking redneck town. Yeah, Jay. You see, you love it, Jay. You got another piece yeah. of tape. Oh, yeah. And if, if you live down here, guys, you're gonna, you gonna wanna invest in a bunch of fresh white tea. That's all he wants to wear down here is white t-shirts. White t-shirts, man. He said it's too hot for the mother shirts. Yeah. Maybe as I get a use, I mean, I'm a use of pretty much, but it just feels good with the white tee on. So I bought me Okay. But guys, uh, overall, we love it. We don't plan on going anywhere. Now, and we got people like people from our hometown come down here to visit. Yeah. So this is we may not even spot. right. So we going we still gonna see family. We still gonna see friends. My you mom I mean? and grandmother coming in the spring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we, you know we gonna see Tennessee too. But yeah, we looking forward to becoming Gator fans. No, 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 no. Seminoles. Not Gator. We gonna stay UT. UT Vols. Fuck the Gators. I'm a volunteer with UT Vols. But I do now, want I'll to check with out the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Buccaneers that's pro. I want to start watching them games. I'm going to be on that. And then what else? What's the Seminole? The Seminole. Right, Florida State. Seminole. Florida State. Yeah. All right. I, I, I feel, okay. Okay. So we ain't going to be Gators. But it's still fuck the Gators. It's still fuck the Gators. Okay. Still a ball. The kids won't love the Gators, though. I'm gonna wear my I'm gonna wear my Tennessee UT ball stuff, and y'all can wear y'all Gator stuff. It is what it is. There you go. Gotta keep it's it. Cool. I don't even know what it is, but my heart's with the UT balls, even though they lose and they suck all the time. It's something about being a ball. So like oh, ball. Well, guys. Let us know if there's anything else y'all want us to talk about on that. And tell, what do you think about living here? This is where I want to be. I mean, I, I was born here, and I feel like the ocean has been calling me. Chris was born in Hollywood. I was born in okay, Broward County, Hollywood, Florida, on the other side of the coast. On the other side of the coast? 
East Coast, right? Yeah. Because we're on the West Coast. Yeah. So we're on the West Coast. Clearwater, guys. We look forward to a lot of videos, vlogs. We're going to be doing vlogs more. I'll take water. We're going to be doing our reactions. Any day of the mountains. Yeah, and I like the... I, I like it. Now. It's no, it's oh, and then everybody's talking about the bugs. Oh, the bugs, bugs, mosquitoes, and and this and that. I, I don't know. I ain't seen it yet where it's bigger. We had so many mosquitoes at our house. Like in our yard, the mosquitoes, as soon as you walk out the door, you're getting ate up. It ain't, I ain't even got, I don't think I've gotten one mosquito bite yet. They out there. I mean, I know they, they are. They, they, it don't seem different than where we're from. Gotta stand. A lot of people make these videos north. You know what I'm saying? So it's not really too different. We see uh, these lizards. Now they do. Now the lizards is different. I, like we, I, I know like they're lizards. cool. I found one. They like the, little cats. They, they just little cats. When I was trying to wash clothes, one that? fell in the washer, and I had to get him out because there's no way I wanted to wash a lizard in my clothes. Was it a baby lizard? Yes. Oh, that's that same one that uh, we lit in the garage because it was in the house. So we. Yeah, well, he jumped right in my washing machine. <laughs> So I went ahead and got him out of there because I'm like, I'm not, Where you put him? I don't want to be a gecko killer right off the bat. Where you put him? I put him on Matthias because he was chilling on my hand for a second and then Matthias came Why over. He was just chill. He's still in the garage. I didn't. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. he's free to go wherever he wants. Yeah, because he was chilling. He was chilling in my hand like, all right. All right. Well, guys. That's well, it. Well, man. Look, stay tuned for our videos. We got them coming up. Vlogs, reactions, it, more stuff with the family, like baby boy Jay. Mm -hmm. And that's all we, we got. We still ain't even took him to the beach yet. So y'all, yeah, y'all gonna, gonna show see his first time at the beach. His first time, time at the yeah, beach. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, he been staying with Miss Marjorie. As, uh, Miss Marjorie's uh, one of our nannies. Well, She's our like only nanny that comes. The, our kids adopted grandmother you know what right. I mean we've known her for seven years and just bonded you know she loves our kids and she just became a part of our family she did a video with her uh, videos, cause she liked making jingles for uh, oh yeah she yeah. really so she, yeah, she, yeah, she's heavy on that man y'all need to watch that video she's super heavy she's on writing jingles videos, for like Jeff peanut butter she loves peanut butter and Hershey bars that's her favorite thing ever well, guys, that's all we got. That's all we've got. All right, y'all. Here, we're ready to say bye. 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 Bye.